All right, grandma cultural appropriation, Cassie. What the hell does that mean? Okay, so I've got a friend. Um, she is white. She is very, very white. She's like fish belly white. And I say that because I call myself fish belly white, so don't at me. I'm like the color of mayonnaise. I'm so white, I'm almost transparent, okay? If you look at me in full sunlight, you might get blinded kind of white because of the reflection. She and her mother bonded over, they live in different states, so during quarantine, they bonded over watching a TV show called Jane the Virgin together, which is a fan fantastic show. It's amazing. It centers around um, this woman who accidentally gets artificially inseminated and the sort of ensuing romantic comedy that comes after that. It's accidentally? Really good. <laughs> yeah, she went in for a regular gyno exam, and they switched rooms by accident. And so, oh my God, with an that's insemination. the plot? Yes. And she's a virgin. Wow. And religion's a key core component of this, and she's a virgin. And she has to tell her mother, like, I'm a virgin, but I'm pregnant. And it's like this whole thing. And it's a, a Latina family. They're Mexican. And it's a beautiful story as well about immigration and coming to the States. Like, it's just, it is, if you haven't seen it, it's so heartwarming. It's so funny. It's so so well acted. It's a great show. And can you tell I'm the one who told my friend about it? And then she and her mom bonded over it and they love it. Well, she just found out like a couple months ago, my friend, that she's pregnant, which is awesome. Great news. So she told her mother, mother is over the moon. And the mother goes, I want the baby to call me abuela which is Spanish for grandma. Now, Abuela is a huge character in Jane the Virgin. She is a core, like one of the three core main cast people the storyline follows. I, and I get it, because Abuela in that show is just like ama an amazing character, like so loving, so warm, like so steadfast, such a rock for Jane through these tumultuous times. So I get her mom's like connection to Abuela, but I was like, um, but you're white. You're white. You're like really, really white. <laughs> and I know it's just a word and I know it's just a term, but you don't even speak Spanish. Like you can't, you didn't, you took French in high school. Okay. Like y'all ain't Spanish at all. You know, so one, I, one Spanish <laughs> word and it's a boy. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, gracias. Also. And so I just would love to know, like from Romeo, like, is that cultural appropriation? Cause I don't want their, I mean, it's not my kid, it's their family, but my friends, like, I don't want my kid going to school and being like, Abuela's picking me up today from school <laughs> and everyone being like, what? <laughs> Uh, like, Rene, what are you talking about? Romeo, our producer, is from El Salvador. Okay, where do you stand on this, dude? Oh, dude, this is just funny. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's your, why? You know, just just keep it to Nana. Like, you don't got to go further than that. Like, exactly. <laughs> so if you're a friend, Romeo, and you hear this, and you hear them referring to her as abuela, uh, as a Latino, are you offended by that? Oh, dude, I'm taking a triple look. I'll be like, what? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I would, I would question it. You know, because there are some Hispanics that look white. And like a hundred percent white, and uh, I would question it. But then if I know them and they're like zero <laughs> Spanish in their language, I, I would be like, why? Why? <laughs> there's, there's so many options in our language. Yes. I don't understand. There's there's Graham Graham. There's Grams. There's Mama. There's uh, Granny. <laughs> yeah, Mimi. Nana. Uh, I think Yaya is like a Greek version. There's so many options. Abuela <laughs> sounds so much more endearing than Grandma, though. It really I know. Does. It sounds so cool. <laughs> and I think, I think she wants Abuela because she looks up to the character. Like, I think that's what it is, is she has a strong yeah. connection to this character and, like, loves <laughs> and wants to honor her. But I'm like, that character had a huge story arc about possible deportation and struggles with immigration. And you're a white lady <laughs> who's, like, an American citizen who never had to struggle. And you just want to be like, I'm abuela now. <laughs> it's like, it don't sit quite right. But it's coming from a place of love, though. I feel like the only way it makes sense is maybe if you move to, like, a Spanish-speaking country for, like, a year or two. And then you get maybe a pass because you lived there, you were involved in the culture, you know? Then you can kind of be mm. like, yeah, I'm an abuela. Mm. I think maybe that's the only way it would work. Like so just move somewhere. All right. Oh, just move somewhere. How bad you want it? <laughs> get closer to the equator if you want to go by abuela. Yeah. Are they going to commit to the bit or not, Cass? They have to. They have to. I got to leave for you here. Carlos, good morning. You're on the bird show. Hey guys, I want to say um, uh, good morning to everybody. I'm happy to be on here. Um, I'm going to say that I'm Puerto Rican and I kind of disagree a little bit with Romeo and Kathy. 
And the reason I'm saying this is, as a Puerto Rican person, yeah, I'm gonna, I ain't gonna front. If I hear <laughs> someone white, black, or whatever, say abuela, I am gonna look, but I'm gonna ask, you know, why do you call her that? <laughs> and if they tell me it's because they saw this show and it touched their heart, and they want to learn about, you know, Latin culture, I actually wouldn't even have a problem with that. I would think it's a beautiful thing because the way we're living in this world today, mm. with all this racism and all that, I think it's actually a beautiful thing when people are trying to learn from each other's cultures and educate themselves. And, and you know, I, I just, I think it's a beautiful thing. I don't think it's a horrible thing. If it's coming from the right place, you know, I, I, I would smile and be like, damn, that's cool. That's, That's awesome. cool. Romeo, why couldn't you have said that? It's coming from a, <laughs> it's, it's coming from a TV show, not the right place. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. It's coming from the right place if they move to, like, Mexico or something. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah. It's the Burt Show.